I spent hours in the beautiful 150-year-old botanical gardens, and there are 10 acres of it. St. Edburgus and the old grammar school, it's like looking into the past, and it's hard to realize that all this is so near to the hustle and bustle of a really great metropolis. I can't sing it like he can, but I can assure you, this is my kind of town. I was told to get there before it all blew away. It was spectacular cherry blossom time in Birmingham's Bourneville. Riding the express elevator to the top of one of the city's highest buildings, this is the view that nearly took my breath away. As far back as the 12th century, the land on which Birmingham now stands was owned by the D. Birmingham family, whose tombs can be seen in this, the Church of St. Martin. We're in the heart of the West Midlands. There are over a million people in Birmingham. Two million a year use its modern rail terminal. The International Airport welcomes arrivals from all major European centers and important cities in Great Britain. Another way in is by multi-carriageway motorway. Motorways mean problems. I visited the West Midland Police Motorway Control Unit, one of the most specialized traffic control groups in the world. I found the city exciting. The modern buildings reflect its position as the nation's industrial powerhouse. You feel as if you've been projected into the 21st century. <music> 70,000 people visit the museum and art gallery every month. They're powerhouses of treasure. The sound of disco music was in the air, so I wandered over to see what gives. It was an over 40s competition and incredible. This is Mrs. Taylor. I'm sure somebody loves you, baby. The rotunda towers over the bull ring. It's 160 years since there was any bull baiting here. The ring is gone. Colorful markets have taken over. You know, it's an adventure to shop in this city. 150 market stalls display their goods. Whilst over them, intense traffic pounds along the elevated inner ring road. There's a sophisticated shopping center over New Street Rail Terminal. It has 200 shops, restaurants, and my favorite, British pubs. A nostalgic contrast is the old Great Western Arcade. I walked on the walkways, sat on the seats, and admired the trees and shrubs in the spacious, traffic-free pedestrian precincts. Birmingham's road systems are revolutionary. The Inner Ring Road, Queensway, a four-mile circuit of dual carriageways, tunnels and overpasses, linking up with the main arteries of the city and the Aston Expressway. Yes, it's my kind of town. So, so long, Birmingham. Here's looking at you. <laughs>